Knight in Shining Armor. No, help me, help me. Where's my savior? Let him go! Hi ya! Hi! Yay, you defeated him. Just next time, keep your elbows up like this. We were just taught that in our practice today. It is so unfair that you get to practice with everybody, and I don't. Ah, you are way better than all of them anyway. They would stop their practice if you join. This is the story of a knight who taught herself how to defend or fight. This is the story of Brittany. Brittany lived in a small town at the outskirts of the vast kingdom called Mosaic, which was a cluster of many smaller kingdoms. Brittany loved to spar and read, both of which was frowned upon by the kingdoms back then. But that didn't stop Brittany. She continued to learn from her friend, Anthony. Brittany and Anthony grew up together and were the best of friends. But one fine day, a scroll came. Anthony was asked to join the platoon for Mosaic. One of the other kingdoms was in trouble, and Anthony was asked to do his duty to Mosaic. It was an urgent call to all the aspiring soldiers, and Anthony had to leave without even saying goodbye to Brittany. No! That is not fair! He didn't even say goodbye! Why am I not allowed to serve my kingdom? I know you miss him, dear, and it's not fair, but this is how it has always been. But now it will change. Brittany, you are the best sparring soldier I know. Go out there and show them that you are the best of the best. With her parents' relentless support, Brittany took the quest for her honor and her love for Anthony. Brittany had many skills. Not only could she fight, but she always worked with different metals. She made a full armor for herself so that her identity is not revealed and left on her quest. After riding for days and nights together, Brittany came near the tall tower and heard someone singing a song, though very sadly. Wait, is this coming from up there? Hello? I have to get up there. All right. Because it's that easy to save a damsel in distress. <laughs> ah! Well, hello there. Aren't you a different sight? A woman in armor. I didn't even know they made armor for women. Who are you? And what have you done to the woman in the tower? Well... I am a very intelligent being who has used his smartness to capture a fairy being. I don't want anything to do with her. It's just her magical powers I need. But you see, she is a stubborn, stubborn child. If she only releases her magic to me, I shall let her go. But she just doesn't understand. I mean, I just want more power. How is that bad? As the magical creature went on about his plan in the most casual manner, Brittany realized that he had a gem on his bracelet. Wait, I have heard about that gem in the Book of the Rare. This stone is powered by the darkness, which is why this magical creature is here in the shade. I have to somehow get him under the sun. Maybe that will save me and the woman in the tower too. Brittany used the heavy metal armor she was wearing and pushed her weight down. She finally freed herself. Hey! No! Come back, you! Catch me if you can! Without thinking, the magical creature followed Brittany into the sunlight. I said stop! Wait, why isn't this happening? A little birdie told me that the gem you are wearing doesn't work under the sun. No! Brittany grabbed the gem and crushed it with a rock. 
and to her surprise, the tower melted down, and out came the gorgeous damsel. The magical creature took the opportunity and ran away. I am Amore! Where is my knight who rescued me? Seriously? You have magic yourself, and you still waited for someone else to save you? Well, sorry for the sad news, but you were saved by just another girl. You saved me? Well, I don't know what to say. I am so grateful. My magic was not enough in the face of the power the magical creature had. And I am not wrong, you see. I was rescued by my knight. My knight in shining armor. See for yourself. <gasps> Brittany's armor was shining like pure gold. This is a thank you gift for saving me. I am just so proud to see another girl be so brave. I was stuck here for ages. And in my day, it was always a prince who would rescue damsels. Brittany shared with Amore how she herself is on a lookout for her love and her honor. I know it's unfair that we are not chosen to fight battles that affect us all. We are always considered to be spectators, just watching in silence. But not anymore. You have given me hope. I will spread the word about the knight in the shining armor who defies all odds and never stops fighting for what is right. Amore also told Brittany about an all-soldier tournament coming up in 10 days, which is held every decade. I am sure Anthony will be there. Brittany waved goodbye to her newfound friend and continued her journey now with new zeal and courage. She realized that even a little support from someone can give us so much power. It was a 10 days long journey to the heart of Mosaic where the tournament was being held. But the magic had already begun. Thanks to Amore, the news of the knight in the shining armor spread like wildfire. Look, the knight in the shining armor. He is so handsome. What? We can't even see his face. Oh. I saw the knight in the shining armor and he waved at me. We are best buddies now. Sure. It was in the wee hours of the tournament day that Brittany reached the heart of Mosaic, and there she saw him. Ha! Hiya! Ha! But before Brittany could call out to him, Hey! Move aside. How dare you? <gasps> what did you say to me? Brittany realized that the thick metal on her face had manipulated her voice and made it thicker than her normal voice. The prince didn't know that the knight was a woman. Her identity was still hidden. She heaved a sigh of relief and spoke back like a true warrior. You are a prince. Don't you have any manners, boy? Wait a second. I know you. You're quite the talk of the town, aren't you? Huh. Well, if you ask me, you are any desperate knight who has made himself a dress of shiny jewelry. You're not worth my time. Brittany would not have it. This was the time to stand up for her honor. I am not just any knight. I am the knight in shining armor. And don't worry, prince. I will rescue you from your small thinking. He is entering the tournament. Good. I will end this once and for all. The tournament had strict rules. A complete armor for all and no harm was to come to the horses. The candidates were only supposed to knock each other off their horses. With a gong, the tournament began. Ah, phew. Thank God for the soft landing. I can't see there. I can't really just came out of the sky. Oh. Hiya! <laughs> oh, Abby, are you all right? Oh. Aww. And finally, Brittany was face to face with the one prince who sought to defeat her once and for all. But to his loss, Brittany was faster. Ah! <gasps> the prince got up furious. He was so angry that he didn't care for the rules 
and asked for his guards to illegally arrest Brittany. But someone stepped in. Stop! You cannot arrest another knight like that. How dare you stop me? You're not even a prince. Yes, I am not. You are. And yet I am the one doing the right thing here. Enough! The prince of the East Kingdom is disqualified for illegally arresting a knight. I will not forget this, you knight. The knight in shining armor was awarded as the winner of the tournament, and the crowd was ecstatic. May we know your name, sire? Actually... You can call me Madam. <gasps> a woman? Well... It's not like there's a rule against women entering this tournament, but I am pleased. I am not. If there is anybody who deserves this honor, it is her. The king and queen of Mosaic were shocked, but they accepted this change with open arms. Brittany was about to change the course of Mosaic. Soon, many girls took inspiration from Brittany and decided to follow their heart. Anthony, too, was inspired by Brittany's love for him. They were both instated as soldiers in the main platoon of Mosaic, where they practiced together and lived happily ever after.